What's up everybody and today we are reacting to SCP Overlord. Now I know today should be a gameplay day, it should be a Doom day, but unfortunately I'm having some issues recording with OBS. I tried to change a few things up, mess something up, but don't worry it'll be back on Friday and we'll have a ton of fun playing Doom. Um, but this is like super highly requested. It's also a long video. It's 35 minutes long, which may actually be the longest video I have ever reacted to. But I know it's going to be a ton of fun because I have become obsessed with SCP recently. Obsessed with looking through that wiki, guys. I don't know what you've done to me. You've completely hooked me. <laughs> but before we get started, as per usual, members, you're amazing. I love you. I couldn't do this without you. I honestly couldn't make videos every single day if it wasn't for you, members. So thank you for supporting the channel as much as you do. I really do appreciate it. Links down below to all the usual stuff. Instagram, Discord, Twitter, website, merch. My second channel, which ho, ho, we are so close to Cyberpunk. Check that out. Uh, my podcast, which was phenomenal last time. And we've got a great one coming up this Saturday that we've already recorded. And my Twitch stream, where I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Which means if you are watching this live during the premiere. Am I going to premiere this video? I don't know whether I'm going to premiere this video. I probably will. I probably will. But if you're watching this live during the premiere, I will be on Twitch right after this. Please come and hang out. Come and enjoy yourself. And come and have a good old chin wag. All right, and let me know what you think of SCP Overlord. Come and talk to me about it, because I will talk all day about SCP with you guys, okay? Um, what else? Oh, another little announcement. Let me show you this little cheeky thing. This here is a band, which if you come over to the Twitch stream a lot, you'll know that my brother plays with us, uh, also known as Basket Case on the Twitch stream. He's in a band, and they're releasing their first single, The Haciendas, It's Not Too Late. It's available to pre-order on iTunes, not on Apple Music, on iTunes. It's only a dollar, and if they get 100 pre-orders, which I think they might, if they get 100 pre-orders, they'll be in the iTunes top charts. How amazing is that? So, I tell you what, it's a dollar. Go over there, pre-order. Show my brother some love. It's a great band. I've listened to the track already. It's a ton of fun. It's kind of like punk rock-esque. Really, really enjoyed it. And I think I might actually have it featured on the channel at some point. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Anyway, I'll shut up. I'll shut up. Let's react to SCP Overlord. And that's not the right button. This is the right button. Here we go. Okay. I'm hyped for this. I wonder if it's going to be as, like, visually dark as the last one. And I do know a little bit about SCP now. So, like I said, I've been a bit obsessed with it. So, I'm hoping I have a better understanding of it right now. Everything I'm about to tell you is classified under a level 3 security clearance and is on a need-to-know basis. Okay. The man you're looking at is Ethan Pender, a figure within a New Age religious movement known as the New Transcendentalists. His farmstead has since become a commune for the primary thought leaders with around nine total members. This hey up. Was suspected of whoa, 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 whoa. Where have I seen that kid before? I recognize that kid. Where have the I seen him before? Is Ethan Pender, a figure within a Where new age religious attacks all across New England in the early 2010. Move... Where have I seen him before with a mustache? That's going to kick me that. I've seen him before somewhere. I've seen him before somewhere. Okay, let me know in the comments who it is. I recognize that guy. I recognize him. It was suspected of organizing chemical attacks all across New England in the early 2010s. Additionally, there have been many strange disappearances loosely associated with the movement. All suspected, nothing confirmed. Okay. The past three months, there have been a dozen missing persons across Franklin, Berkshire, and Hampton with no clear offender. But given that this was happening in the Colts' backyard, he and his friends are suspects. 12 hours ago, the Hampshire <sighs> County Sheriff's Department I recognize that kid and it's frustrating me. I say kid, he's probably the same age as me. I <laughs> received a call from a man they believed to be in danger. The caller refused to directly specify the threat until he handed this picture to the authorities. Ooh, okay, so we got a lot of little, first little bit of something weird going on here. It's a person floating in the air. Uh, some people have gone missing. I like this kind of like, um, so in the last video, it kind of just, it was them pulling up to the house and something weird happened. I like this kind of build up to it where they're having this bit of a brief before they go out on the ground. Uh, kind of similar to what military will do when they go out on the ground. Um, and then it's also flashing a little bit forward to where they're getting the equipment ready, ready where the equipment looks on fire, by the way. So, this guys, they're really good at this, aren't they? 
Play got time you. presumed to be Sarah Morrison, one of nine missing persons associated with the case. Our agent within the department informed us the moment this picture was secured. Look at that kid. State of emergency requiring immediate action. Any non-foundation personnel who came into contact or heard mention of this photo has since been detained and given amnestic treatment. Okay. However, the clock is still ticking. And the foundation has seen fit to sanction a raid on the Pender commune. All right. Your objective is to rake the commune, <laughs> says for any anomalous activity, and secure the property for a containment team. Any persons on site are to be detained or neutralized in accordance with the ROE. No anomalous. Tell you what, guys, the production on this is ridiculous. It is so good. Like, it looks legit. Like, this is impressive. This activity is found. You will expel an RTB. Epsilon 6 will be our primary entry and an accordant team, while our friends from New 7 will provide the outer cordon, short range artillery, and air support, including ISR, which comms will be bouncing off of. New 7 will also fill our QRF alongside specialists from Zeta 9, U 13, Beta 7, and Lambda 5. They're going for it, then. Always, Gamma 5 will be running interference to make sure this all stays under the radar. This is legit, guys. This is building up something epic. Also, they're not they're not going in quiet. They've got they've got backup if they need it. They have got some heavy backup. Any mission code ideas? Go on the whiteboard in the back. Any questions? Is that CGI, or did they actually get choppers involved in this? Because if they did, holy crap! That's obviously. CGI, or, yeah, it's gotta be. Unless it's drone footage or something. Legit, how cool is this? They've done such a good job. That image there makes it look like it's kind of CGI a little bit. I don't know, you have to let me know in the comments. I think it's CGI a bit, that. Overlord, hell yes, let's go. Let's go. Sneaky beaker. All the gear, all the gear. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. He's got all the gear. Holy is. Souped up to the max, suppressor. He's got, he's got the quad nods, gas mask, the whole the whole shebang. Tack laser on it. Cheeky glow stick. Let's see how far down it goes. Nothing. Anything. Sector one one to Helios. We passed Ambrose. No sign of the civilian. Just Ambrose, Scotland. Just a hole here now. Uh, no way to determine the depth. Over. I say that because that's where four five commando were located in Ambrose, where I was based for a while. <laughs> Roger that one one. Proceed to next objective. Over. Volco Helios. One one out. I'm all right. Should have a good time with that. UGV should have picked this shit up way before we got here. Command's got some fucking nerve asking us to stick your nose in there. It comes with the territory. That's what we're here to do, and we're gonna do it. Part of the job. I can see it, you know? You getting snatched up? I got of a fucking movie? Yeah, I, I mean, come on, it's never like that. Hold out your hand. I'm telling you, Cicero, another day at the office. Yeah. <laughs> About what? Any ideas on this shit? Another day in the office. These guys... So I love the I love the idea that this team of people have to deal with this stuff all the time. I think it's such a fascinating concept, and I really and I've got I've I've spoke about this in the in previous videos about SCP how it's it's very kind of um, um, HP Lovecraft esque but more modernized. And I oh guys, I love it so much. Maybe we're being invaded. Raji's learned to dig to America. Hey Kolinsky, what's the scoop? Hmm? Command get back to you about it? What, the hole? Nothing yet. Well, you're smart, right? What's your take on it? I don't have one. We don't know enough. Any conclusion I would jump to would just be conjecture. Yeah. Have we got enough lads still looking around? I don't want you all having a good old chin wag without keeping eyes out. That kind of thing, young. If there's an answer, it's in that commune. We'll figure it out. Always do. 
Yeah, I was hoping. What about you, Reyes? What do you think? I think you talk too much. Come on, sending some more rats over to have a look at it. Come on, let's get back in formation. Yeah, get back in formation. Stop hanging about like a gaggle of geese. Come on, mate. Get eyes out there. You're still on the ground. Here we go. Formation has been achieved. We got some good gear. Uh, my guess is that a lot of this gear is probably like airsoft gear. I'm guessing. Uh, it's hard to tell between airsoft gear and real gear these days. Um, obviously, living in the US now, I've been able to have a look at more real weapons. Um, a variant. I've I've actually seen more different types of weapons living in the US than I did in the military, which is kind of ironic. Um, but I've also seen a lot of airsoft weapons and. Um, it's very difficult these days to tell the two apart sometimes. Someone's getting wet socks! Not happy about that, lads. You look cool, though, but you've got wet socks. You might be the coolest man in town. You might be John Wick cool, but if you've got wet socks, it's not a good day. Something's got to happen. Oh, eye contact. Holding hands, bless them. Yeah, that that looks like a legit rifle. But I mean, like I said, airsoft rifles are so so compelling these days that it's hard to tell the difference in it. To be honest with you. Something's gonna happen here, guys. It's, it's Misty. That means something's gonna happen. Every time. Is that the missing dude? Yeah. Okay. The fuck is this shit? Someone's out here. Expected. Yeah. Yep. That's not good. Alright, one eyes everywhere, guys. Palm silent. It's kind of cool. For the most part, and I know SOPs are different for different troops, but when it comes to um, NVGs, unless you're... Um, for the most part, so most operations, most assaults, most kind of, you know, firefights that are planned are done very 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 early in the morning you know, that's, the, that's the way we were trained to do it um which meant nvgs at the start but when you do when you have the time you can take them off there's a little amount and you can take all well, the ones we had you can take them off and put them away storm them away and just it gives you that extra little bit of mobility on your noggin um you didn't always have to have them out but hey also look at this formation like a triangle formation here um I'm guessing the two people in the middle are pretty useless unless they're people who are on comms and strictly on comms and there to kind of supply people. But them two are useless. If anyone takes... Imagine if someone comes into contact on the left here. Or everyone apart from this front row are useless. If they're in contact here, everyone apart from this front row are useless. Front is probably the best because the, both of these front rows can be used and back is just this one row as well. So unless they've got some sort of SOP where, um, you know, if they come in contact, these people kind of push up the side here. And these two fill in some gaps. These two are pretty much useless apart for, you know, giving out commands. If this is like a, you know, a corporal or a lance corporal or some sort of 2IC, you know, like kind of helping out. Or even if it's like a medic or someone on comms, it's usually the case right there. I mean, as, again, SOPs are so different for so many different military organizations. And the stuff that I learned in training, chances are it's probably already outdated. So, you know. These things change all the time, guys. Alright. Strobes to show... What is that? What is that? A fire? 
I can see like, yeah, I can see like uh, sparks coming from it. All right. At this point, I'd be like, all right, guys, uh, we're gonna enter into enter into uh, into the unknown here. Things are gonna get a little weird. <laughs> Yep, that's kind of weird. Kind of cool at the same time, but also kind of weird. Take a little cheeky snap for that. Fair one. Gotta get something for the gram, aren't ya? We gotta put it on Instagram and show the boys. <laughs> That's gonna have just been lit because it's still on fire and not broken yet. So it's gonna have just been lit. Also, legit, the people who made this show had to build that. It's really cool. All right, we got some mist coming down here. This guy here, he's got his weapon point right in his mate's back. Good lad. <laughs> Off the scene. Spread out, guys. Okay, that's kind of reminds me of Death Stranding. These guys should have been spread out. They're so close together. That's a no go. They need to be spread out. That's like weird AF, guys. If I saw a few people floating in the air like that, I'd be like, all right, guys, time to leave. But I guess this is their job. That's the whole point of SCP, isn't it? Kind of reminds me of the Death Stranding trailer. Are they walking? Helios, this is Sector 1-1. We've passed Poe. We've got eyes on multiple humanoid anomalies floating above the trees at the north side of the property. Please advise. Over. Roger, 1-1. Maintain your course. The anomalies can be dealt with by QRF or the containment team after you've investigated the property. Over. Understood. 1-1 out. We good to go? Affirmative. Get your men in position. Affirmative. Let's be like, Roger that, Ghost Rider. Let's crack on. Keep an eye out. They're going some on the left-hand side and some on the right-hand side. I would not be doing that. Especially, look how many people are going on the left. Leaving three lads on the right there. See them right off. You got that. You got gifted that detail. <laughs> See them right off there, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, guys. You've been pinged to do nothing. Get some spacing, guys, right there. Open window. All of them guys. All of them guys coming up them stairs right in front of that window. Right in front of it. Like, that guy didn't even care. That last guy's like, yeah, whatever. I'm not even going to look in that window. Watch. This guy, watch. Look at him. He's like, yeah, I don't even care about that window. I'm just going to crack on. <laughs> Fair one. I mean, his mate's got an eye on in there, but I wouldn't trust it. Alright, checking if it's... Uh, checking the door's hinges and everything. Yeah. Way too long in that doorway. Way too long in that doorway there. Just pop. Throw, if you're going to throw, just throw it in. Don't, don't piss about popping your head in. All right, off they go in. Okay, so again, I don't want to be nitpicky because SOPs are different for everyone, but the way they entered the room was just not what I got taught at all. Like, at all, completely different. They all, first of all, they all stayed in a line and went straight together. Whereas it's usually what happens is the first person that goes in takes what's called the long wall. The other person pulls around to the back. Then the next people come in and kind of step out the doorway. There's more taxes to it. And these guys just went through the door, which... I, I get it, guys. This is a fictional kind of, you know, it's a fictional, you would call it like a little movie, wouldn't you? An internet movie. And I get it. Um, but it's the little things. It's the little things, you know, and the, the, I guess their SOBs might be different, but I don't see why this would be a better idea than the original tactic. 
Closing. Small room. Clear. Small room left. Coming out. Clear. With you. Clear. Coming out. Coming out. Clear. Clear any quick. Clear. So slowly smooth, smooth is fast, you know. Again, these guys, I think what they're going for is that these guys have done this so many times that they, they know exactly what everyone's going to do. Um, for the most part, you'd stack up to the wall, you'd look at the door frame. Again, the, the same thing would happen. Someone takes a long wall, someone would come in. But these guys, I think what they're trying to achieve with what they're doing here is that this is a group of people that have done this so many times that they know everyone's role without even having to think about it. And they cleared all their rooms nice and smooth. And they did it all within about four or five seconds. Um, you know, with that being said, there could have been draw, or like, you know, like cupboards and stuff people could be hiding in. All them things have to be checked. So this is like a brief check. You have to mark rooms that have been checked. So there is other SOPs, but I don't think they're trying to achieve that kind of level of um, basic military standards. They're trying to show that this is an in and out job, I think. Talk, move to second deck. I got one. So that guy walked right into that doorway then, and that guy was stood there. If, I, if that person on the floor had a gun, he would have been downed. Easy. Put your fucking hands in the air or you will be shot. Hand. Look, look, at, your fucking hand. look, at, the, look at the doorways they're going past. Look at these doorways. Why am I pointing? You can't see me pointing. These doorways they're going past. Completely oblivious. Could be anyone in there taking them out. This could be a distraction. Do yes. it now. Do it right fucking now. You got no legs. Don't you fucking do it. Fair one. Fair one. Yep, fair one. Did the right thing there. Missed that door. Like, that guy, this guy's just stood in that. Look at the doorway there on the right. Why am I pointing? You can't see me pointing. There's a doorway here on the right. Nobody's checked it. Zero people have checked it. And let's just let's just kind of skip over that. The way they de dealt with that person then, they said they waited, they waited, they waited. You know, put your hands in the air, do whatever you need to do. As soon as you went for the gun, they shot him. Cool, yeah. One Makes one sense. We've got a bogey down on the second floor. Proceeding to ID. Over. Doorway there on the right. Could be people underneath the beds. Could have been people around that corner that he just went around without looking. Look at this doorway. Alright. Spender. Should we call in a Casavac? I'm not Bashan, but. Those were kill shots, bro. Best thing for him is a bag. Fuck. <laughs> One more to Helios. Kingpin is dead. Over. The hell was he up to? Looks like a ritual, I guess. Yeah. Be nice if he didn't pull that fucking gun. Got a couple questions to ask. Like how many guys he's got in the basement. Push comes to shove, I can cut a hole in the floor, flush him out with gas. Cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah, Raj. <laughs> Memory stick? Hang on to that. Go check out Pender's office. Take Kalinsky with you. And if you know anything about cybersecurity, don't be popping that memory stick in anything. Anything. Have someone professional deal with it. <laughs> Still won't shut the fuck up. It's a nice building. Oh, so there's some. Look at that. There is someone keeping an eye on the stairs. I like that. I like that. Basement doors reinforced. Some of the numbers are fitted on the lock, so we can probably brute force it. Let me have a look. Stairs are a tricky one when it comes to room clearing. Stairs were always something that I think people struggle with. Can you blow it? Yeah. Uh, no. We need something heavy, and I don't want to risk damaging anything inside. Yeah, we need fair a one. torch for this one. That, or you know, find the code. That, or you could probably smash the wall in if you really wanted to. At the end of the day, there's not much to it. You could probably just put a boot through the wall. Helios, this is Sector One One. Basement is reinforced. Unable to secure it at this time. Over. 
Now be careful just walking all past them all in rooms. At the end of the day, they're dealing with the unknown. They're checking these cupboards with no idea if there's anyone. Look at that door behind him. Alright, another laptop. That could be some key evidence. Don't be poking about on it. Leave it for a professional. Interesting. Looks like he was still writing. Yeah, what's he writing? The bridge over the horizon. Records on the last days of the new transcendentalist commune. What the fuck do they mean by that? Which part? Title's a novel worth of text. The part about him knowing this group was coming to an end. Intel never said they were a doomsday cult. Well, if you're the field analyst, figure it out. I'm just here to type. Hmm. Sending this to command. You know, I should have figured something was up. Yeah? Why? Well, he pulled a weapon on us. Yeah, yeah fair one. Fair one. His house, Kolinsky. He could have figured us for cops. If we're going off his publicly available doctrine, there's no reason why he'd want to martyr himself. If he went to prison, he'd still be able to preach his ideology. That's what counts, right? Yeah. I don't know, bro. I just type. <laughs> Fair one. You get it? Maybe they changed it at the last minute. Try Panda's birthday. I don't know. Try one, two, three, four. <laughs> no. Any progress? Negative. Hell, you smoked Pendel. Cicero did. Nice. Would have been nicer if you didn't, you know. <laughs> so he could have told us the code. Yeah, like there was any time for that. <laughs> the guy grabbed the gun. <laughs> Just keep typing. Write a log of all the numbers you try. If all else goes to shit, we can call in a cutting torch. Fair one. This guy needs to not poke about on this laptop and leave it. It's evidence. I mean, this guy might be... He might be afraid. Oh, what's he doing? Popping that thumbnail. Some driving there. Mate. Hey, Kolinsky. Come here. It's a bad idea. This is a bad idea. You don't know what's in that basement. Something could be linked. It's a bad idea. We've got a flash drive in here with a video file titled Play Me. Proceeding to open it. Over. It's a bad idea, guys. That's <laughs> a bad idea. I have either made the journey to our Lord's domicile, or I am dead. It's very quiet. Interesting. Profit. Maybe it was meant to be like this. Maybe this is the price I paid. To whom it may be. Oh geez, yeah, there's some cult stuff in it. We're in a cult. So the camera, the camera can, the camera can see things that them guys can't. Interesting. Okay. What you got? I just want to make sure I'm not the only one seeing this. <laughs> get the get all the boys, guys. Take a look at this. Look at all this weird stuff. <laughs> Yeah, that's weird. Some sort of invisible ink. Is it just infrared that's picking it up? Negative. Jensen tried it with his nods to no effect. It's the camera, not infrared. Yeah. Maybe that's the anomaly, or part of it, or a trick. Fair one. Helios, this is Septal One One, requesting to use the camera to investigate the property. Over. Helios, Septal One One, stand by. Over. Stand by. She, this person's just sat there like, yeah, yeah, stand by. Yeah, go on, crack on, you're fine. <laughs> Every time they call them something, she's like, yeah, go on, you're fine, go on, crack on. <laughs> she's probably sat there doing now, <laughs> playing solitaire on a computer. 
Understood. I'm out. Goodbye, Johnson. <laughs> Make it and report your findings to the talk. Johnson, give command control of the computer, then go with Kalinsky. Rog. Alright, they're outside again now. They're all souped up like some sort of Rainbow Six Siege people. <laughs> it's really cool. It's a nice property. Okay. Looking around. Did they see anything? Should probably go in each room and check all the walls. Really. Unless you can see it clearly. I hope more stuff. They're all over the place. There's probably more outside too. They should be documenting it and drawing them all down just to kind of keep track of what what's in what room, really. I mean, I don't know. This is way out of my expertise. <laughs> They need to get in that door in the basement. One place that's still compromised. They don't know who's in there or what's in there. Hey, up. That's going to be. Nope. The whole. Nope. Nope. Was that some sort of indication to be like, all right, something's happening? Because that's really cool. Yep. Yep, that's really cool. That's really cool. And I say that's cool because they don't have to get on comms and say anything because they're being really quiet. So it's just a click, click of the button. Guys, something's going on. They don't have to say anything. I like that. I really like that. That was really cool. MVG, MVG's on if need be. Oh, it was. It looked darker than it actually was, maybe. Claire. Kolinsky, what the fuck? I saw someone in here. Yep. They must have given us the slip. <laughs> Pull that plastic Sector down. Sector 2, this is 1 6. Watch your sectors for a humanoid target moving away from the building. Over. Roger 1 6. Over. 2 1 to Helios. Any movement on ISR? Over. Maybe it can only be seen on the camera still. If they gave us the slip, Scepter 2 would have caught him the second they jumped. Yeah. Fuck! Oh, oh, oh. I got it! Oh, 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 oh. Rashard, get up here! Holy, that happened out of nowhere, didn't it? I'll swap with you, over! Ah, oh, mate. Oh, jeez. My guess is that it was the thing in the camera, but you can it's invisible unless you look through the camera. That's my guess. I mean, did they know if that room was cleared? <laughs> got possible movement again from the north side. Anyone got eyes on? Oh, fuck! Two on his contact! Two fours down! Over! Definitely don't go running after him. Scepter 1, this is 2 1. I'm gonna reposition. Get your weapon up. The inner cordon is compromised. Over. Get your weapon Scepter up. Scepter 1, over. Scepter 2 to all Scepter 1 units. Do not exit the target building. Over. Oh jeez. Guys, this is getting so good and we've got like 10 minutes left. This is the longest reaction I've done and I'm enjoying every second of it, guys. I would watch a whole TV show of this. Brown bread. Yep. He's a gunner. What happened? I don't know. He was just standing there and then he was bleeding all over the fucking floor, man. Connie team. 
Sector 1 3 to Helios. 1 1 is KIA. Over. Yup. Roger 1 3. Over. That sucks. Get your weapon up. Get your weapon up. Dude's invisible. The dude's invisible. Yeah. Yep, get that camera up right now. Yep. Whoa, what's that? Yep. So it was, you could shoot it then. She found? It's on the floor and it's not moving. Put a few more rounds in it. One, two to all stations. Put a few, <laughs> a few more rounds in that thing I would be doing. I'd be putting a full bag in it. Target down on second floor, over. I put a full mag in that thing. I don't envy you. Big shoes to fill. I can do my job. Yeah. <laughs> So could he. If there's another option besides that, you let me know. Looks like the cultists got whatever it was they wanted. This complicates things. So what the fuck's the move now? Well, we know the reverse to bullets, so that gives us some options. Right. Chemicals, maybe. Not saying it's for sure gonna work, but it's worth a try. Well, that's the thing. They know that... Okay, so they've got two things here. They know they can see it through the camera, but only one person can use the camera. And they know that the... The see-through entity took around. Do they know if there's more of them? How are they going to use just one camera between them all? There's there's so many variables that are going to go wrong here. Okay, a request for QRF and some chemical mortars. Nothing lethal, just enough to knock out anything in the vicinity. Good, to get me the fuck off this property. We still have yeah. to do. Yeah. We need to the basement. Hey, so the QRF knows what they're getting into. There's also been a change in the ROE. If we make contact, we'll attempt a less lethal option first. If they don't respond to that, smoke them. Yeah, because I guess they've got to get him in, aren't they? They've got to, they've got to get him in an experiment on them. That's the whole point of SCP is protecting them, not just eliminating them all. If they have to, they actually bring some of them in and put them in these different cells that are all numbered. I dropped that fucking camera, Kalinsky. That reminds me, I wonder if this is one that was already wrote a long time ago or something and they've just filmed it or whether they've done this all as a fresh kind of story because that's kind of something I'd like to know. That one, that is so cool. That is so cool, them effects. Damn. They've done such a good job with this, guys. I feel like my visual experience of an SCP movie is it's peaked. This is the peak of what it's going to be. Get that camera. Glitchkin, get up here. Yep. Shoot. Shoot. Gas. Oh yeah, the guy they've got to gas it, aren't they? Is it gonna drop? Is it gonna drop? Is it gonna drop? Fair one. So it obviously started having a reaction to the gas and wanted to attack him straight. So he's like, yeah, I'm going to put some rounds in it. I would have done the same. One, two to Helios. Target down on the first floor. Over. Ooh, they're going down into the abyss. Get that door open. This is going to take a bit. If I 
time. His, uh, his uh, goggles there are steaming up quite a bit. How do you know it? Look at me and tell me I am not the most valuable member of this team. His goggles are completely steamed up. <laughs> he can't see nothing. He's turning around there thinking, what? I have no idea what I'm looking at. <laughs> All right, let's crack on. NVGs are on. I hope they film some footage that's in, in Night Vision. Creepy. Creepy. Oh no, it's just gonna be dark. They should have done it night vision, that would have been cool. Like everything green. That'd been cool. What's this? Jensen, get the door. On it. What is that? Somebody? Man's probably been dead a couple hours. Yeah. Took himself out with these. Check around the place for anything notable. I'm gonna look this guy over. Fair one. What, she doesn't come back alive? Check for a pulse, did it? Guessing he did. My guess is that he did do that. Oh, he's got an iPhone. Probably looking at some dank memes before he died. Got a recording here. Play it back. Hmm. After they found that bomb relief, everything changed. We'd found it deep in the dirt, next to some old tools. Weird. Someone from a very long time ago was trying to hide it away. Interesting. I don't know what Father Bent and Molly was worshipping, but it was never the salvation we were promised. Huh. So quiet. Goodbye. I don't know how our friends are gonna make any sense out of this. Hmm. She's all fucking gibberish to me, man. What I love, <sighs> what I love about these SCP stories is every single one of these stories, or a lot of them, not some of them I read that are kind of crap, but some of them are so good that it's like it, it itself could be a whole movie series or TV show just from one anom anomaly. You know, it's such a cool a concept. Back to the Providence op, mass relief, weird cold, same shit, right? Maybe both groups found the same thing. Nothing's here like what the cult says publicly. It's like they did a complete 180, like completely changed ideologies. Mm. Yeah, fuck it. Try anything once, right? Motherfuckers. Oh! Not happy, where's that camera? Well, ah, mirror? Is that the mirror from Harry Potter where you can see things that you want the most? Son, you got anything? What do you see? Where is it? Is it a doorway? It is a mirror, right? Hassan! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, he's like dying. Put fucking thing down, man! What do you see? What's going on? Don't get near me. Nobody put it down! Oh, fuck! 1-2 to Helios. Sector 1-4 is down. Over. Kalinsky, get the camera. That is creepy. Jesus Christ, Poseidon. What the fuck? 1-2 to Helios. Target building is compromised. Requesting immediate exfil. Over. Yeah. Helios, Sector 1, QRF is 30 seconds out. Retrieve what intel you can and exfil from the property. Over. Roger. Roger that. Over. Time what? to get out. Yeah. Blow the whole place up. Why is he still around? Blow it all up. Let's blow it up. Yeah. Blow it up. Blow it up. Sorry we couldn't get here earlier. Containment brought up the specialists. Some of their tech might spot the targets, might not. You 
still got the camera on you? Yeah, you want it? That's affirmative. Pass it off and we can take it from here. Huh. Kalinsky, Have fun. Bring up the camera. Kalinsky. Oh, jeez. Kalinsky, what is it? Oh, jeez. Oh, so they weren't floating. They were actually hanging from these things. Weird. Are they going to end it there? You're having a laugh. Are they actually ending it there? They are. Holy crap. They ended it there. Oh no! Is there gonna be a sequel? Is there gonna be a sequel? Guys, I need to know what happens. I need to know what happens. That was incredible. That was absolutely outstanding. It really was. The production was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I, I, I'm speechless. I want a whole TV show. I want a whole TV show. Is there anything like say anything about anything uh, and any other like nothing else? Oh, we've got a Discord. I'm going to join that Discord. Oh, oh, oh! First comment commenter on the thing here yeah, is the uh, is that Operation Drewski? Is that who? Is that who I've seen? Who's in the video? Because I recognize the guy. I recognize the guy. Oh, wait, wait. I just saw a video. I know this is probably unprofessional of me, but... Maybe he was the dude. I don't know. I don't know. But it, it certainly looked like someone that I've seen before. And he comments, so... Yeah, he commented, A10, last guy, looking kind of cute. Anyone know who he is? Weak face. Yeah, it must be this guy. So I've, I've watched a video with him before where he's shown his face. I can't remember which one, though. Was it, uh, What was it? I'm sure... I. There was one where he was, like, showing his car or something, I think. Or showing a car that he got. I might be talking crap. I think I've seen this guy before. Let's have a look at his old videos. See if he's got anything with his face on it. I don't know. It seems like it seems like it could be this guy. I'm I'm all, I'm almost positive it's this guy. Anyway, I digress. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I loved every second of that. I truly did. Um, I want to see more. I really do want them to see more. So uh, head over. I will leave a link down below to the original video. Head over there. Go to the Patreon. Like the video. Give them some love. One time donation. Discord and all that good stuff for them. They totally deserve deserve it because that that is. That was brilliant, guys. That is so good. I want more of that. I want more military horror. I really do. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, all right, guys. We're going to end it there. Members, let's pull you up. You're amazing. I love you. I couldn't do this without you. Um, links down below to all the usual stuff. Instagram, Discord, Twitter, website, merch. My second channel, my podcast, and my Twitch stream. Where if you're watching this live during the premiere, I will be on Twitch right now playing some i don't know what i'm gonna be playing but head over there it'll be a ton of fun and uh let's talk some scp because i'd love to talk more with you guys and i'd love if you guys know any more about maybe a possible sequel to this or any more information about the production of it head over to the um the twitch where i'll be live and have a good old chat with me okay guys um also like i put up earlier my brother's band whoa that's not what i wanted to click this is what i wanted to click Go and pre-order my brother's band's first ever single on iTunes. Not on Apple Music, it's on iTunes. It's only a dollar. Go pre-order it. Um, it's well worth it. It's a great song. Other than that, guys, if you have any more SCP videos you want me to react to, please comment them down below because I certainly will. All right, guys. Until next time, I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.